So, in this very little video, and probably my last video about Freedom Spec for a while, we're gonna be measuring if adding a big capacitor, or even two big capacitors, can make your Freedom Spec quad fly a little bit faster. After that, a couple more Freedom Spec batteries comparison. And at the very end, my DVR from Costa Rica World Cup Freedom Spec race, where I was very, very lucky to take fifth place in the Pro class. So, capacitors for Freedom Spec. Let me call my electrical engineer. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, so capacitors are a lot like batteries in the way that they both store energy. But unlike a lot of batteries, capacitors can discharge that energy in only fractions of a second. One of the best ways to check to see if your capacitor is charged? Lick the leads. Maybe that's not the best way. I think it sucked my tongue. I apologize that I am using my phone to record this video, but I'm still not home. And this camera probably looks way better than my web camera at home anyways. The idea of such testing belongs to Mr. Yossam. By the way, he is number one sports pilot in the world in Freedom Spec. So he did all the testing for me and just sent me black box recordings and I just plot them with my Python script. So huge thanks to Mr. Yossam, link to his channel is in the description. So Mr. Yossam did a bunch of tests without capacitors, with one capacitor and with two capacitors. He used some big 2200 microfarad 35 volt capacitors. And here are the results. These are RPM plots. Red line is no capacitor, green line is one capacitor, and the blue line is two capacitors. These are the are very, very zoomed RPM plots. The difference between top line and bottom line is less than 1%, so I think it's just our method measurements error. And the difference between uh, the one capacitor and two capacitors is even smaller. So the similar situation, if we zoom the RPM ramp up, you can see there is really no difference that we can measure. And I think there is a reason for that. Capacitors can store such a small amount of energy. So for example, if you want to match with a regular Freedom Spec battery, you need about half of a million capacitors that Josh was using for his tests. Half of a million capacitors. Does that mean that you should run no capacitors to save a little bit of weight on your Freedom Spec drone? I don't think so. There is a nice article from Oscar Leon, link in the description, about running capacitors on racing drones. But if you have a fairly clean build, especially depending on the quality of your ESC, they're, they're not gonna make your Freedom Spec quad faster, that's for sure. So now more Freedom Spec batteries comparison. Link to my previous video with batteries is down there. Finally, I have tested a classic $9 battery China Hobby Line 30C. I also tested $27 um, GNB 120C, also Tattoo R Line 35C, which is very, very light. Also, I have tested uh, two P packs, which means two parallel packs 130C GNB, also two P pack of uh, Pyroflip. I think it was uh, 75C, and here is the results. As you can see, China Hobby Line 70C is still unbeatable. China Hobby Line at unbeatable price still performs fairly well. It is $9, but it is a little bit better than 533 battery. Our Line Tattoo 35C is very light, but I think it's just not worth it, because you can see it performs not very nice. And finally, two P-Packs, I think also not worth it, at least the ones I tried. You can see GNB 130C is way heavier than anything else, but it still doesn't perform nicely. So I think still the ultimate answer is China Hobby Line 70C, if you can find it. Then the next answer is China Hobby Line 30C, because it still performs good, but it's way, way cheaper. And then... Well, GNB 120C, $27, well, if you can afford it. Also, if your quad is on the heavy end, then 533 battery, 
could be your answer and not to mention 533 battery is the one that won Freno spec world cup championship at costa rica minchen and i think this tells us that the gear matters only up to some extent and minchen can win pretty much on anything so go practice so see you in the next video if i'm not lazy and now my humble dvr from Freedom Spec Costa Rica World Championship where I was able to take 5th place in the pro class but just a reminder that double elimination format is about a lot of luck and maybe a little bit of skill because some of the way faster pilots crashed a little bit earlier so enjoy Just a boy, Christmas brought so much joy Couldn't wait for the presents and laughter I couldn't sleep late at night Looking for Santa with lights Those are the memories I still remember Then I became a man Lost sight of who I am Shit pilot, yes, you shit. Garbage, you must practice. That is it.